Hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of the video. If you haven't seen part 1, you can click on the link in the description below and check it out. And anyway, we have pretty sick pulls in part 1 and we'll summarize all the pulls after finishing this box. So let's get on with this box. Uh, oh my, I'm pretty bad at this box opening thing. Promo we have It's a Tyrant monster Okay, so we have pretty good luck on the left side Last box Let's try the right side this time Yay Crossbow Dragon and Big Wing Raven. Put the rares one side. Cosmo Dragon. Second Dike Hero Hideout. Pretty solid. It works with your transform cards as well because uh, after you transform into them, it's counted as a item. New Gojin Maru, which allows you to call size 1 ninja from its soul. So basically, you can attack with Gojin Maru, and then you can have uh, essentially 3 more attacks if you put 3 more size 1. Right, we got parallel foil. What does it do? Whoa, it's pretty good. During your attack phase, uh, mill yourself, mill two cards, and stand this card and draw a card. Basically, triple attack, and it has soul guard. Solid stats. China Frill, and some Black Dragon. No foils yet. It's quite surprising. Trap up. Silver Staff Dragon. Another second Dark Hero Hideout. All dragons go to heaven. And Knight of Daybreak Neo Zodel. If you have Knight Anthem equipped, this card is reduced by 1. So basically, a size 1 monster, 6k power, 1k defense, 1 crit. Pay 1 gauge all night on your field, cannot be destroyed and cannot be nullified by your opponent's card effects. And when your item attacks, this card gets one crit. Double attack. Like this card. A quarter Guanif, new one. Wow, we've got another drum secret pack. Okay, for the sake of those that didn't see the video, we'll go through it again. Basically, Baobat's Future Cross. What does it do? It uh, When it enters the field, you can choose two Thunder Empire and put it in your drop zone and one item from your hand and shuffle your deck. Basically how this works, you have, you call this, you search your deck for the other two cards, one drum, one bow, and you put it in your drop zone. And if you're at four or less life, you, and you search for this item of course, when you're at four or less life, you can equip this. It is super OP because 12,000 power, 5 crits and there's no equip cost other than the fact that you require these two, these three to be here and it has the dragon force effect, cannot be destroyed and returned to hand blah 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 and cast cost and call cost of impacts cast cost of impacts or call cost of impact monsters are reduced by 2 gauge pretty good and this is of course a really good shield card for your Butts. And for the overturn drum, when it links attack, when it link attacks with you, 
uh, you can you can pay one gauge and your opponent cannot cast counter and plus two crits and infinite power and the bow basically you can stand it with two gauge yeah there's nothing really special about this bow yeah this is our secret pack let's hope we pull an sp or br from this box because we put an sp from the first box p point Rules and depths and glacial laboris. All dragons go to heaven. Breaking on the bun and dragon's temper, which is really good. Uh, as I said, get to charge a soul. I would run it in my in any ancient deck really, because soul is really important. Hitiko. Sturgeon Jackknife Blazer The new Jackknife This card isn't worth too much Yeah But basically you can when you call it you can charge a soul That's the only benefit of this card What do we have here? Thora this is uh, honestly one of my favorite cards of the set. It's really good. Uh, yeah, take a moment to look at the effect. I'm getting a bit lazy. Basically, it has a single attack, but you can rest your Prism Dragons to give it uh, additional attacks. And Soul Charge, of course. Yeah, and uh, by resting another Prism Dragon, it means... And it's during your attack phase. So basically, if you have double attack Prism Dragons, you attack once with the Prism Dragon, and then subsequently, when it stands for its double attack, you rest it, and you can use this guy's effect to allow 7k3 crits to attack again. And it doesn't, doesn't limit itself to monsters, so it works with your Prism Dragon item with double attack as well. Last pack from the right side. And we got another Miseria! Don't know why the Bushiroot has decided to come up with this. The new Miseria basically it's like Omnilot support. If you return Omnilot, you can restand it. Yep. Trap up. Silver Staff Dragon and Soul Bit. Oh, it's China Foil. China Frill Parallel Foil! Actually, a highly sought after card. I'm gonna put it one side. Azi Dahaka Daiva Sis? No! The second one. I have too many of these repeated cards. Always a chance for an SP or BR, so let's keep hoping. Do Seeger Centurion. From SD. From SD parallel foil. Yes. Holy great dragon. Drago Memorial P4 and LQT A small die <sighs> It's 
new Miseria. Miseria has turned into a dragon. Bushiroad really loves turning people into dragon. Okay, you can read the effect here. You may put three Omni Lot from drop zone to bottom of the deck if you do stand this card. Double attack, penetrate, soul guard, life link, five Omni Lord. Yeah, it's not exactly good. How many pets are we left? Like, four pets. Come on, SP. Come on, BR. Only assassin double rare card. Full dragon and burn over. Winning wing, P foil, and a biscuit. Last pack. Okay. Nope, didn't get an SP here. Billion Rapier Dragon. Anyway, got pretty good pulls from two boxes. Let me just uh, tidy up the table before I. Okay, so from the second box, we have an Oni Assassin Double Rare, New Miseria, the Dragon Miseria, Dual Seeger, Azi, another Miseria, Athora, and we have the, the, the Bao Butts, Secret Pack, Jackknife, and Neo Zudel. From the first, from the first box, uh, we had... Uh, Abigail double rare, another dual seeker, another Azi, got Bats the Dragonificator, Gao, Gao, but he's Dragonified, so okay, and we have another, another this secret pack which we are quite fated with, Bao, got uh, Bao Soleil. And another Miseria. And lastly, we have an SP. Basically, it's the SP of this, uh, this Bao Bats that searches for your stuff. Pretty good. Pretty shiny. I have no idea why there's this gold border. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I don't know, man. Do you guys say, do you, do you guys pull anything cool? If you do, let me know in the comments below, and yeah, that's all I have this time. Uh, depending on my mood, maybe a few more boxes, not sure. Uh, but uh, do look forward to my future deck profiles. I'll do my 5th Omni deck soon. 5th uh, Omni deck, probably after the next set. I have 4 of these, 1 parallel foil. And the thing is, uh, the next set, there's this super good new 5th Omni drum that's coming out. So, yeah, look forward to that. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, take care.